Hey everybody, it's Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department again, and today we are going to continue our team series by talking about another app that makes up teams, Planner. And if you use Tasks and Outlook to manage your day-to-day -day activities, then you will use Planner in Teams to manage your group's day-to-day -day activities. Um, so let's take a look at Teams, since we didn't do that in the last video. Here it is. This is Teams. Right, I'm going to open up one of our test teams that doesn't have a lot of content in it. And I'm going to show you how to add a uh, planner site into your team. So we'll click on the plus button and we'll click planner. And then it's going to ask me if I want to create a new plan or if I want to use an existing plan. And since when you create a team, it also creates a planner group, we'll use an existing plan and select our team name and click save. So now we have planner in our team site. And so the great thing you can do with teams is create different buckets. Um, here we see we have a to-do bucket, we have an in-progress bucket, and we also have a review bucket. And if I scroll even further, we have a completed bucket. If I wanted to remove buckets or rename them, I'll click on the ellipses and click delete. If I want to add a new bucket, I'll click new bucket and name... I don't have anything better than complete, so I'm going to name it done. And to add tasks to your planner, you simply click the plus button under whichever bucket it goes in, and you name the task. So finish planner video is under our to do, and I'll set that for today's date. And I'll assign that to myself. Uh, if I'm done, I don't have to do anything, it auto saves, I can just close out. If I want to do additional tasks, I'll click the Add Task button. And here I can do another one. Edit Planner Video. And again, I'll set a due date on there and assign myself. Uh, if you make a mistake and you put a task in the wrong bucket, that's okay. Just simply drag and drop it into the right bucket. It's as simple as that. And then once you complete the task, you can click the checkbox and it disappears from the bucket and goes into the show completed section. Um, also, you don't have to uh, open up Teams to use Planner. Uh, it is a web-based application, so you can go to portal.office.com and sign in. And under your apps, you can click on Planner, and there we have Planner. So just click on whatever group you want to add a plan to and you can be on your way. But one of the advantages of Planner is that it integrates so well in Teams. And it's just a part of your Office 365 package. You don't have to do any additional licensing. If you were to just rely on your Outlook tasks, yes, you can have other people manage your tasks but that means they have access to all of your tasks. So let's say you're in the marketing team, but you're also in the dev team, and you don't want people from the marketing team to have access to the dev team tasks. Then that's why you would use the planner in Teams, because you can segment them out like that. So join us next week as we continue to dig into this bucket of markers of what makes up Teams. Um, maybe we'll do OneDrive. Maybe we'll do OneNote. It does. Who knows? Who knows?